Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we had had a altercation with an actual demon. Uh, turns out the uh, demon in Connor was uh, the source of all the problems going on. Um, Connor had accidentally summoned the demon. Which, uh, that was not a good idea for him to do. Uh, he was trying to help save his father. Didn't realize that, uh, stuff like that leads to ruination in the Dragon Age universe. And, uh, the cost was his soul. Uh, we saved him via blood magic. And his mother had to be sacrificed to make sure he lived on. Makes sense in the scheme of things that, you know... Uh, the children are the ones who should live longer than the parents. That's kind of how the world is supposed to work, I guess. But it's neither here nor there. What happened was we saved him. She had to die for the magic to be able to work. And what we were dealing with at that point was a situation where Morrigan had to do the saving. Now, speaking of Morrigan, I learned that there was a prior save where she didn't have the skill that I'd given her, Rejuvenation, which ended up not being as useful as I thought it would be, um, especially since I don't have enough tactic slots to make it a viable option for her to be able to use. So... What I did was, I went back to that save, played all the way back, all the options, everything the same. I ended up saving a few resources in the process because I took that behavior uh, recommendation someone commented on a couple episodes ago. Again, thank you for that. And uh, that ended up helping save quite a few resources in the process of the fight back up. I'll... <laughs> Alistair did get beat up a few more times, uh, but that is a problem I will mitigate when I can. <laughs> As it stands for right now, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Um, she is now given the fire spell instead of the rejuvenation spell, which only does stamina and mana and... It's it's, it's not very useful, at least not yet, until I have more tactic slots to give her, and then she can use it as she sees fit. Uh, but for now, that's where we're standing. I replayed literally all the decisions, all the options that I did before are all the same, and it's just I have a few more resources in the form of uh, the poultices are still around, and I have given Morrigan the fire spell instead of the rejuvenation spell. That's it. That's all that's changed. I wanted to get that out there first thing. So, that said, let's get on with it. So, we learned that the only way we can really help the, uh, really help the Arl is by getting the urn. Oh, also, I looted the things in here. Don't worry about it. That's how, uh... That dagger that uh, Tomas is carrying now. Uh, if I hit the right buttons, I can show that. Uh, you might have noticed that it was a Viridium dagger when first he was carrying the enchanted gray iron dagger. Uh, that was one of the things I looted before I started recording. But anyway, uh, we learned that is the only way we'll be able to save him, so we have to do that. Um, we can't get into the vault. Believe me, I just tried. It is impossible. It is not doable. Damn it, Morgan. You were in my way. There we go. And I didn't go in here. Oh. Would have been nice to go in here. Bookshelf. I'll get on it. Oh. The Garens of Ferelden and Blank Vellum. Okay. And that's all. That's all that's in the castle. Okay. Go to them. Oh. We're still in the castle. It's just the main floor. That we're going to now. Okay. Makes sense. 
Castle's a big ass place, of course. Okay. They're still cleaning. Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, we can only hope. I finished. Awesome. Lesser ice salve and small silver ring. A thin silver band set with a single gemstone. Alrighty. Cool. Should we be looting everything? Probably. An axe and a vanity? Since when is that part of the fucking prettying yourself fucking regimen? When did that when did that start? Also, what? Okay. Uh, I noticed I had Viridium Chainmail gloves now, which is a step up from what we were having before. Doesn't really look all that different, though, does it? Just the uh, patch behind the hand looks different. Looks relatively the same otherwise. That's weird. Oh, well. Well, I guess because it's fingerless gloves. That would be the only noticeable thing, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Anyway. The desk. Alistair's mother's amulet. Um. What do you need? Um. Ask away. Um. Um, I just, didn't he say he broke it? Can I give him that back in camp? Because it doesn't seem like I can give him a gift right now. Is that a camp thing I can do? Sir Perth. It is good you resolve this demon business. Now we must either revive the Arl or allow Van Tegan to take his place. Uh, um, allow Van Tegan to take his place? That was an option? That was an option? Oh, there's so much to be cleaned up. I don't want to even think about what happened here. That's probably good for your mental health to do so. Oh, hi there. Didn't even see you there. Okay. Guess I'll just walk around. You were not able to be opened before. At least I don't remember you being able to be opened before. Huh. Alright, well, these are all the enemies we killed on the way here. I don't remember missing these. Maybe I did <laughs> in the uh, second run through here. Maybe. It's entirely possible. Okay, well. I'm just going to give it another quick look-see. Yep, no one walked into here. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, yep, yeah, no one, no one really is inhabiting that side of the castle yet. Probably because they're too busy trying to clean up the rest of it. Alright. Oh, I can talk to Van Tegan. Okay. You return. Might you have news? I... I don't yet. Um, are you Carl? Uh, Carl. <laughs> Carl! You're not supposed to eat hands, Carl! Okay. Uh, do you, are you calling Eamon? <laughs> are you calling Eamon's knights back? Yes, but they are returning slowly. Mm -hmm. No doubt the war's progress, as well as the Darkspawns, hinders many of them. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, what is his condition currently still? Unchanged, I'm afraid. All right. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. Fair enough. 
I should go. Then, then I must resume my duties. The civil war continues, and Loghain is no doubt angered Redcliffe has not been disabled. Good sure. luck, my friend. Very sure I hope of this that. continues to go well for all our sakes. True. Same. Same here. A knight over here. Knight over there. Not really missing any other loot. Oh yeah, that was another thing. That was another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, in the fight with the demon, you possibly remember how I did not manage to get the lyrium deposits or the lyrium veins uh, during that fight. Uh, I managed to get those. So I do have them. They are now in my possession. But uh, that's all that changed. I, I completely forgot about it because it was so uh, s small a detail. But yeah, I got those too. Alright, sorry, I had to drink my coffee. I had to also get that out of my brain. Okay. Uh, what the? Oh, just normal guards. Okay. We went through there, so there's no reason to go back. We can go through this way. And we should follow through on if, uh, well, not going to the world map. I don't want to go to the world map yet. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should, and I can go to Red Cliff from there. Red Cliff Castle, Red Cliff Village. Because I want to check on if the blacksmith got his daughter back. Oh boy, more stuff in Denerim. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged Damn right. for a, a solution. With your leave. A solution? The Antivan Crows send their regards. They do what? An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Right. Okay, then. So now they're sending an assassin against me. Okay. I guess that's just going to be how that goes. Oh. The danger to Redcliffe isn't over. Oh, okay. The civil war is. rages and the Darkspawn army draws near. I, I'm ready to fight again if need be. For Ferelden and the Arl! There you go. Good for you, guy. Me, I forgot. I have to go down this way. <laughs> that's my bad. Spawned in a different spot than I remember. Oh yeah, still not talking Come to along, me. Friend. Okay, very thank well. you. Bye bye. Okay, well, talk to guys and friends down here and see how uh, they're doing, including the blacksmith as well. Actually, should check on that. We did promise to do that. Oh yeah, the chanter. That's right. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Because I got all of those corpse galls. Oh my! That is a lot of muns. Okay. Well, no quests for now. Bunch of villagers. I may have fled the village before, but I'm back now. And I intend to enlist in the Isle's army. I'm not running away again. Good for you. Good for you. Alright. Now let's uh, 
go to the blacksmithy and see if uh, it worked out the way I wanted it to. Hey, Owen! My Belena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you. I'm glad to help. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Thank you very much. So, dwarven armor? Shielded dwarven armor. Okay. Oh. Pretty much the same as my chainmail, but plus one constitution and plus four spell resistance. Very soft hum, as if it were a bell that had recently been struck. Huh. Hmm. I can give this to Leliana. Hmm. That's an idea. She does have the strength for it, so. Well, look at that. Armor that doesn't look gaudy and stupid. It's good. Well, let's, since we're already doing that, might as well give her something more worthwhile than those gloves. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully we can change out those uh, leather boots soon. All right, I might as well talk You're to him about. You're welcome, friend. What can I do for you? Well, I'm going to talk about business. You're welcome to whatever I have. Obviously, I'm at your service. Glad to hear it. Oh, you got more stuff. Oh boy, you got a lot more stuff. Whoo! All right. In that case, I'm just going to sell what I have first. Um. Uh, that, 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 of course. I'm not going to sell that. No, I'm too sentimental to sell that. Shut up. Okay, sell that. And that. Black leather collar. I'll give that to the dog, I think, at some point. Uh, that's cold resistance. That's electricity resistance. Hmm. Huh. Not sure which one would be... Hmm. Not sure which one I should uh, focus on more. He's... Yeah, he's got splint mail, and his is currently better. Yeah, I guess I can sell that. That and that. Okay. Silverite. Silverite. Leather boots to which mail is knitted in the four-in-one pattern that has been riveted. Okay. Okay, that is a significant amount of armor and fatigue, but that is also a significant amount of strength that I need to be able to equip it. Ugh. We'll, we'll, we'll call it good for now. Call it good for now. Heavy chain mail. That's something I can't wear yet. But uh, eventually. Eventually, maybe. Yeah, my current chain mail is weaker than that. I guess I could buy that. Red steel! Okay, that's tier 5. Alright. So the silver right's a higher tier. Huh. Heavy plate armor as well. All right. Massive armor. Yeah. Yeah. You don't say? I guess I could give that to whoever would be my tank person. But he doesn't have the uh, strength for that yet. It would be a lot of armor, though. And a lot of fatigue. But still. Huh. What is this? Plus nine defense. Hmm. Fair enough. Let me look at the weapons again. I can't equip. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have the strength for it. No one has the strength for it. That's why. Um, that is slightly stronger. But Oathkeeper is is significantly more useful with a plus one and a half to armor penetration and plus ten to healing effects. Yeah, I don't feel I need that. Maybe for Morgan. No, this is weaker. Huh. Yeah, it's weaker. It's no real benefit. 
um, helmet though. The helmet I'm currently wearing is stronger in armor. What about the heavy helmet? This is a massive helmet, so this would go with the plate mail. Hmm. It's the only other thing that comes close, but I don't have the strength for it. Yeesh, okay, well. Maybe there's some things I can sell. Um... I almost don't want to sell some of these things because I don't know if they'll be useful later on or not. I don't think these will. I don't think these will. I can sell at least one of these of each. Not feel too bad about it. Ugh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm good on everything else. I think I'm fine. All right. Uh, did I ever... Yeah, I didn't... Hmm. I didn't get any chainmail boots. Okay, there's not much else that I can use. Yeah, not, not, not much else at all. Okay. Had to double check. Sorry about that. <laughs> Took a little longer than I intended. And at that point, I'm doing a lot of math in my head. Okay. So, this is all taken care of. Everything's as good as it's probably going to get. Okay. Now, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, because we have completed all we can here. Uh, where we should go next, though? I have no idea. Didn't think that far ahead. Um, hmm. Well, I should check what missions I have to do. Got the Urn of Sacred Ashes here. Medicines and magic have failed to cure Arl Eamon, who slips closer to death every day. You've been told, but you've been told that the Urn of Sacred Ashes, containing the ashes of the Maker's Prophet Andrast, uh, Andraste, uh, have legendary healing powers. Uh, if Arl Eamon is to have any hope of recovering, Andraste's ashes must be found. And that's in Denerim. That's not necessarily the place I want to go to get that done. Hmm. Paragon of her kind. And I still need to get everyone else. Yeah, I haven't even... The Circle of Magi were not even an option in dealing with Connor at the time. Because I would have had to go through all of this. Yeah, that was not. it would have taken too long. I was right in that one, at least. Caravan down. Okay, let's mark that as active. Maybe it'll point me in that direction when I go to the big old map. Which would be this way, I think. Yep, I was right. And let's go to the world map. Oh, it doesn't mark it. Shit. Just off the Imperial Highway, and it just got destroyed by Darkspawn during the entire thing I was doing. <laughs> oh, wow. Way to nail it home that things are happening outside of what you're doing. Oh, man. Uh, 
Oh, wow. When did... When did that even happen? What? I just... I don't remember anything mentioning... I mean, I know in 2 that Lothering is destroyed. Lothering is destroyed by Darkspawn. Because that's a story thing. So they don't even touch on it in Origins? It's just destroyed? Whoa. Okay, well, contact right outside Lothering. Why am I not surprised? Um. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay. All right, well. I'll follow you to whoever attacked the wagon. Oh. Oh. This was an ambush, wasn't it? Yep, this was the ambush from that assassin. Yep. 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 Okay. Ha ha. Okay. Oh boy. This is not good. This is really not good. Okay. Oh, please. Um. Okay. Um. I need a lot of healing. So does Alistair. Okay. Well, so much for that. Fuck you. Watch out. Make a okay, Alistair always dies every time at this rate. Okay. I'll get on it. If get you can back. move. So you can get off my back. Come on. Jesus. Oh! Fuck me. Okay, well. They planned that for sure. They, they did quite a lot of damage there. Jesus. Disarm failed. Okay, well, I'm not going to run into the trap. What are you... Okay, you know what? Death root. Okay. Well, the elven assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. <laughs> that fight did not go anything like I expected. To be fair, somehow I end up alive far more than Alistair ever does. Wake him. Wake him up and talk to him. Hmm. Oh. What? I... Oh. Yeah, oh. oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. Yeah. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Yeah, I want to know. I want to... I want to know some things. That could easily be rectified. Of that, I have no doubt. You are most skilled. If you haven't killed me, however, you must have kept me alive for some purpose, yes? Mm-hmm. You seem awfully glib for a prisoner. <laughs> it is my way, or so I am told. Okay. Let's see then. I assume you kept me alive to ask me some questions, yes? Mm -hmm. If so, let me save you time and get right to the point. Okay. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. You, you did kind of knock out Alistair, so, I mean, you didn't fail all the way. 
Then again, Alistair gets knocked over by a passing breeze at this point. So, there's there's that. Um, what are the Antivan Crows? I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. Very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the Crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Well, I mean, not for being good assassins, I see. Oh, fine. Is that what you Fereldins do? Mock your prisoners? <laughs> Such cruelty. Well, when I beat their ass after they try to kill me? Yeah, yeah, a little. A little bit. Jackass? Uh, you came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I oh, was in I the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. Uh-huh. Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name is. Ah. Was. Yes. That's yeah, we saw the cutscene. That We saw the cutscene. I assumed as much. Does that mean you're loyal to him? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Okay. And now that you've failed that service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. And between you and me. Isn't that what we're establishing now? Point. Very good point. Uh, where were you... Where were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. Hmm. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. So... If you had failed. What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances Fair of enough. succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? It, it's a little funny. I'll admit, I'm not laughing at it, but it, it gets it gets a bit the chortle. It gets a ho ho, hoo hoo hoo, hee hee hee, hoo hoo, out of me. Uh, how much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Damn it, I was hoping for Which the money. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Fair enough. Then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I bought? was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. Bought? But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Okay. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. <laughs> if you're considering joining, I really think twice about it. <laughs> severance package. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of... That's something. That is something else. <laughs> uh, I'll take that under advisement. You seem like a bright lad. I'm sure you have other options. You're not wrong. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Were you paid to talk my ear off then? Consider it something I'm throwing in for free. <laughs> As it is, if you're done with the interrogation, I have a proposal for you, if you're of a mind. I mean, I'm listening. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. Mm -hmm. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. Uh -huh. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, yeah. unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Yeah, that's fair. And what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. Yeah, they that's what I was thinking when you said when I, was a child. Bought. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, 
They might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Hmm. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Won't they come after you then? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. And if not, um, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? Fair enough. What do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. True. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? I mean... Other than, why would I want your service when you clearly failed at killing even me? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. Mm -hmm. I would also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated, now that my attempts have failed. I also gotcha. know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? <laughs> I, I gotta admit, you you are quite a character. I gotta admit, it is it is a, a bit of a joy to have you along thus far. So, sure, I'll accept. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? I mean, <laughs> don't worry about it. We could use him. We could apparently use a swift kick in the head too, but you don't see me going around asking for one. A fine plan, but I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. Fair That's enough. excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds See? like a fine plan. See, guys! Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. <laughs> yep, I that changed. I pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Alrighty. You just calm your heels with Liliana, and we're good. We'll be good. Alright, so. Let's remove Alistair. Blast it. <laughs> yes. Oh, blast it. Oh, blast it. Why? Yes. Vashadan. Oh, I didn't even realize that they had uh, noises for uh, being deselected. Yes. Vashadan. Vashadan, okay. Morgan. Blast and damnation. Okay. Indeed. Leliana. Blood and damnation. Blood and Indeed. damnation. Okay. And, uh, Zevran. Yes. Blaska. Blaska. Okay. All right. They all... The war dog. And then... <laughs> he just... He just loyal as can be. He'll just lay right down. Okay, cool. Okay. As it stands, I mean, I like uh, Leliana. Morrigan's useful as a mage. It's about the only positive point she has thus far. Uh, other than being one hell of a mouth on her. Um, oh, shut up, phone. Uh, Alistair has a, quite a mouth on him, too, and he's kind of grown on me. But as it stands right now, I mean... He dies almost every single fight at this point. Um, Zevran seems like a card, and I do like him because of that. But then it almost makes it not worth bringing Liliana with me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I guess... I guess I'm just going to stick with this party for now. At least until we get a better mage who's less of a bitch than Morrigan. No offense, Morrigan. You, you, you can be a little too mean. 
You can be a little too mean and a little too uh, sadistic. So, uh, yeah. Alistair disapproves. Morgan disapproves. Alistair very much hates me for that. But Leliana approves, so at least there's that. You know what? In that regard, I win. Friends of Red Jenny. What the fuck is Red Jenny? So iron ring. Okay. I might as well loot all the things while I have the ability to. Okay. I think I noticed something up there. And all the traps are gone. Okay, cool. Was I wrong in... Yeah, I was wrong in that. I'm stupid. Also, there was another fucking path... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Alright. Assassin, assassin. Not a lot of money on these assassins now, is there? Alright, well. Good thing I decided to fucking... Go after that elf root when I did. Because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get back there. At least not easily. Yeah, these cows are very, very, very dead. It's like almost no coming back from that dead. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting back there. Anything that was over there is now gone. Which only was the elf root. So, yeah, we're fine. Uh, also, I just realized I do have herbalism. Yes. Um, why I have it on my guy. Uh, I'm stupid. That's why. Um, advanced, no. Uh, potions. Go to herbalism and make some more health poultices. There we go. And we'll call that good. What? You can't do what? Ah, one more. There we go. Good. Okay. Now let's get out of here. And since we're very much the fuck over time, let's end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SBS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to, you know, figure out where to go next. And then we ran into the assassin who's trying to kill us. Um, who was sent to us by Loghain. Uh, we got a cutscene about that, which is odd, but uh, we at least knew about him before he came to us, and we dealt with him. He's now part of our party, and uh, I will see if I can make a use for him at some point. Uh, can't be any worse than Alistair, because, I mean, Alistair falls at the slightest fucking leaf hitting his face. For you!